not doing anything. <laughs> Welcome back to a game for Freddy. Oh man. Like I'm not doing anything. I'm moving and look. Knuckles got some sweet moves, man. Sega, you did it again. I think that's my controller. I'll be on. I, well, maybe not. Because he would look, he would have a walking animation, right? If it was the controller fucked up. Can I tell you something? What? You know what I really like about this game? What? Like the knuckle levels. What? The music. The music is the shit. I always love. Well, you know, Sega games in general, they always had like a jazzy kind of, like a jazzy oh, okay. slash lounge music kind of, kind of, you know, music soundtrack kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And like this game especially, and I've always liked that music. I've always liked that music. But <coughs> did you already find one? Yep. Oh, there's another one. All right, how do you feel about the knuckles and rouge levels? I like them. I. You know they get a lot of hate. Like, Why? Like a lot of people hate looking for emeralds. I just like because the song. It's, I, it puts me to sleep. There's one time, like sometimes. You can ask my but in brother. a boring way or in a, in a, in a, like, in a yeah. real vibing out? Kind vibing of. out way. Like, I'm telling you, like, you can ask Moses, my little brother. So you can ask him. I'm Moses. I go on YouTube sometimes and I just put this song or Pumpkin Hill. Oh, yeah, and they Pumpkin have, Hill. Like, they have, like, I ain't like, gonna let it get to me. Something like that. I don't know how the words go. I, I get the ones that are, like, an hour long. The pumpkin extended. Battle, pumpkin Hill extended, yeah. And I listen to it for, like, Five Ever. minutes and I'm like, I'm dead. Yeah, Knuckles, Knuckles black because he has uh, dreadlocks. Are they dreadlocks? I mean, I always thought they were like dreadlocks. They're not, but if they, he was a human, they'd be dreadlocks. Dude, have you seen like the kidnas like in real life? No. They're, mm, they're pretty ugly. Back in the day, I read a book in middle school about a kidnas. They're pretty ugly. Isn't there, can't you go outside, jump in the... Oh, there's one. Yeah, that's the last one because yeah. the radar is like going off. Yeah. Heard. I think it revolves around the entire. Look around, yeah. I really like. Okay, everybody hates the Knuckles levels and Rouge levels because it's not you going fast, even though you can go fast. Um, but they think it kind of takes away from the the uh, Sonic games, geez. right? Like, like what Sonic's about is like going fast. I guess. But but, but the thing it is, is like, I thought like this was like a, a breakthrough as far as like really expanding on Sonic as a character, as a as a franchise. And it just it made it more like also too, like when the game came out, it was um I mean, games were really kind of starting to flex their muscles and give you a lot of uh room to go about like because you really weren't able to break boundaries. It's it's like where the camera is. Like look to the left. Not that oh what's over there? Look at it. Fly. You, you, you could do the drill claw like into it. Yeah, oh. tight. I think you gotta leave though. Like leave the like jump in the air and it'll shoot you up out. Want it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah. All right. So, oh, that oh thing doesn't wow, hurt. that thing doesn't hurt you, does it? No. <laughs> Good dis game design or bad game design? <laughs> Dang. Oh, wait, am I not close? Mm, nah, you're good. Very good no. Knuckles is immortal. Okay. Um. Oh, an extra life. Hey, did I get my, my chow key? Well, don't get it because I gotta I gotta change the the thing for the stuff. You know what I'm saying? What do you want to change? Well, this is uh, I already got chow data on there. Oh, hey, you know, don't even worry about the chows because we're just playing the game. We're not doing chow stuff. Yeah. We're, do, we're just playing well, the game. I kind of want to make a cute little chow. No, no. Kiss my ass. It's for a separate... That's for a separate kind of... Alright. It's for a separate. Because then these videos... Then this series would be way too long. Ah, Caleb, you can't find the damn diamond? Well, it's in a high place. I'll find it right now. It's. I think it's on the opposite, like, over there. Yeah. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. It's up there. It's up there. This game is so hard. It's uh, it's in that robot. Damn. Yeah, you called Sweet. it. Good job. Um, wow. Not even half. We're barely like getting halfway in an episode. So, what was I? What, what, what was I saying? Damn it! I gotta see. Yeah, I know. Okay. Right? 
time. Oh, because you took five minutes. Like, if you took two minutes. I got C for cinch. No, I, don't say it again. I'm going to have to cinch for it. Because, because the word is like that. Okay, just for curiosity's sake, though, go upstairs. I want to know. I want to know if this is my chow data. Because if it's my chow data, I got my juiced up chows upstairs. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Ooh, ugly child, dude. He probably has like the worst stats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he can't beat this nigga. <laughs> Hold up. The I white one. Check on. the white one. This one? Yeah, check the white one. Why is his head like that? Why did you give him nasty stuff? Check the Wait, white one. Pick his sleepy ass up. Rover? Nobody? Put him down. Put his. Throw him. The hell with him. This is child abuse. Right? I don't. I don't think this is my child either. I actually. Yeah, yeah, I actually yeah. have a fairly good idea of whose child data it is. They just threw him in the camera. They also know about us. Kino. Kino. Wait. Do you name him yourself or? You could take him to the to the. Well, he don't like you. Anyhow, skipping that little bit. Um, what was I telling you? Yeah, I think I know whose chow data that is. Uh. Excuse me, I think I'm a refrain from saying. Just in case. Because, you know when somebody like lets you borrow something or leave something at your house, like a controller or a memory card, and then just life happens and you never give it back? What? Yeah, that's this memory card. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. What's going on? Shut up, Tails. Give me that psycho ass. What is she doing? She looks like she's trying to like look through a glass window, like a glass door. Or mining. Damn. Um, I mean, does that do that? Can that do that? Why didn't that, why didn't that come out like in the other games? Why didn't that come out? A lot of people hated it. It's stupid. What the his mobile suit? Yeah. Now the auto tell stages use mobile suit. I mean, he, he flies. He can't fly. They wanted ship. to vary it up, and you know, it's not like it's a bad idea. It's not like it's a bad thing. No, it's not bad. It's horrible. Oh, this guy. I like it. I mean, I kind of like it. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, he's, he's a chump. Eggman, a damn chump. That guy's a chump. Um, the two-pump chunk. Damn it, man. I, I forget what I was going to say about this game. That's awesome, yet horrible. I was saying that, like, when this game first came out, that it really felt like the games were kind of opening up. And, um, like, as far as the boundaries of where you can physically go, and I really feel like the Knuckles levels and the Rouge levels were really catering to like how big you can make a stage. You know what I'm saying? Really open up exploration. And I like that because that back then was... Um, that back then was uh, not really uh, something that you could do in a lot of games. Mm -hmm. like, like maybe Grand Theft Auto 3 was like the only game I could really think of that you were able to do shit like that. I love Grand Theft Auto 3. Luigi's. Of of all the old Grand Theft Auto games, like three San Andreas and Hot, um, I was gonna say Hotline Miami, my Mi or my Vice City. Um, Vice City. I like no, I like um, what is it? I like uh, Grand Theft Auto Three. Grand Theft Auto Three. Yeah, I like Grand Theft Auto Three. I like Grand Theft Auto Three. I have all of them. I have all of them. So. So this stage we're playing is Tails, and Tails is, uh... <laughs> Look at all. He's cool. I like it. I think it's cool. You got a damn laser gun and stuff. 
because everybody hates the, the variation, but you know what, I mean, like, in the old games, how are they any different? Like, how is, like, what's the point of having different characters, like Tails and Knuckles, when they just do the same thing, right? True. I'm sure they could, you know, glide and fly, but then that's just giving them stuff that Sonic can't do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm, I'm not just being critical, I'm just trying to make this game be put in a fair light, you know? And this game is definitely better than the newer ones, like... You know, because it's not broken, and everything works, for like, the most part. Like Sonic Boom? Sonic Boom. Oh, you know, I haven't played it. I haven't played it, I don't need to play it. Because that one's totally a different game. It's a 3D adventure exploration game. I mean, how often do you even run fast? At least the Sonic levels here, you run fast. Yeah. You know what I really like? What? The band that sings uh, Live and Learn. Don't get the key. Don't get the key. Damn it, Caleb. Why? Because it's different chow data. It doesn't matter. We're just doing a, a, a solid playthrough, sir. Okay. I'll do it next time. I'm just a bitch ass puss. <laughs> oh, man. I think we've covered a lot of ground in this in this episode so far. Have we? A fair amount. Oh, yeah. Just kill them all. Just kill them all. Just kill them all. I'm scared. Come on, you can get five, up to five, can't you? Yeah, by scanning. Alright, well, next time on a game for Freddy. You're supposed to stop when I say next time on a game for Freddy. Next time on a game for Freddy, when I say next time on a game for Freddy, Caleb is going to stop next time on a game for Freddy. Hurt. <laughs>